Allegations of brutality and bribes at the hands of Detroit police. Now a local mother has filed a $15 million lawsuit. Fox News' Andrea Isom live in Detroit right now with more on what she says officers did to her and her kids. Andrea? Well, Tasha Flowers says Detroit police came to her house one night looking for guns and looking for drugs. They also said she was not supposed to be living here. She says they then came inside. They beat her up, beat her family up, including her little kids. They started punching all on my kids and beating them with um, the nightstick and just throwing them on the floor, uh, stomping them all in their backs. She had held the gun up to my mom's face, pushed past her, pushed me onto the steps, then push me again, scratch my, my, my neck and my chest up. 36-year-old Tasha Flowers says she and her seven children were humiliated, threatened, and brutally beaten by several Detroit police officers on the night of January 3rd. Flowers says this frightening experience happened inside this rented home on Strewsbury Road on Detroit's west side. So she is suing and seeking $15 million in damages. When it was all over with, they were bragging, they were cracking jokes, how they took the whole family down, how they beat us all up, and it was just awful. Well, members of the Sherwood Forest Neighborhood Association say quite the opposite. First, that police were professional, anything but brutal. And second, that there had been several complaints that the Flowers family knowingly moved into this foreclosed home in the middle of the night and were squatting. Now, Flowers says that's far from the truth. She rented this place from a man, but now she can't find him. Miss Flowers was a trespasser at the, the home. It, it, it was not her home. It was a foreclosed home that was up for sale, and a, a realtor had been showing it. It's always uh, threatening to know that someone's doing something that's not legal. And whether it's just, you know, taking up residency or um, using facilities or, or utilities. We saw nothing but very um, professional and compassionate um, conduct by the officers who were at the home that night. Flowers said she did nothing illegal. She says she and her family are victims because they were beaten and bribed. She said the next day officers came back and offered her a gift card, one to Target, one to Walmart. They offered her $100 and a cashmere coat to keep quiet. She says no hush money, no siree. She did not take it. Right now, Detroit police are investigating this entire situation. We're live tonight on the West Side. Andrea Isom, Fox 2 News.